Thank you. Thanks for coming. Welcome. Um, you're going to hear about a lens today that I'm very excited about. It's called our Ultra Health Lens. I'm uh, Dr. Jim Kirchner. I'm Senior Vice President of Clinical and Professional Services at Synergize. We're based in Carlsbad, California. And uh, we work with number seven to uh, have the products available for you in the UK and in Europe. And uh, we're very excited about this new uh, product that we have developed. I think most of you hopefully are familiar with hybrid type lenses where we have an RGP in the center and, and a soft skirt. We've had a lens prior to this one we call Clear Cone. This is the next generation now. This is a new product that uh, we're tremendously excited about because it has properties that we're very proud of, and that is it's a first hybrid lens that has a super DK RGP, but now has a silicone hydrogel skirt as well. So we have high oxygen transmission through this lens. It's a super op oxygen transmission lens. And therefore, it provides excellent comfort. We've redesigned the lens so that it fits much more comfortably, even than our, our very successful clear cone. This lens, you'll find, uh, is much more comfortable, but it provides that all-day health uh, because of the oxygen transmission and because of the design. The tear exchange is tremendous under the lens, so you're gonna, you're, I, I know you're going to love this lens for your irregular cornea patients. It has the same basic design as the uh, prior um, lens, the clear cone, in that we use a vaulting system and... and uh, with reverse geometry of the RGP, this is the RGP, and we use reverse geometry to be able to get that lens to vault up over the corneal irregularity. Uh, but now again, as I mentioned, it's in a, a hyper DK um, RGP material and a silicone hydrogel skirt so that it has a very high DK. If you look at this lens, it has vaults from 50 volt all the way to 550 volt in 50 volt steps. The lens design is such that when it's under 300 volts, we are just, um, to increase the vault, we're changing the base curve, but the lift portion, that's the reverse geometry, we hold it steady for those first four or five uh, volts up to 250. But at 300, we found a very interesting thing with this lens is that at the 300 mark, if we start to vary the lift of the geometry uh, of the RGP, we could open it up and get a lot more space underneath that lens to actually take care of the much higher ectasias and uh, more advanced cones than we've ever been able to do before. So if you've been fitting clear cone, you're going to find that this lens will fit a lot more of your irregular cornea patients than even clear cone has. As I mentioned, it has 11 different volts, 50 to 550 in 50 volt steps, and it also has three curves of the skirt itself, a flat, medium, and a steep skirt. Now what you're going to hear today is that we're using primarily flat and medium skirts. We fit everything with this lens using a flat skirt, and then you'll progress up if you have to, to the medium skirt, hardly at all with the steep. Now those of you that have been fitting clear cone, that is almost totally opposite of clear cone. So. And, it's, and I'll tell you why in just a second. It's very exciting material. The RGP you can see. Uh, again, I'm going to use our clear cone material, which was very exciting as well and still is. We were using an HDS 100 for the RGP, and that provided 100 DK. But now we're using a material called SI150 that actually delivers 130 DK. So we have 130 DK through the center through the gas permeable portion of this lens. We've also included now uh, a UV blocker in the material that it didn't have in the clear cone. And something very interesting is that as you all know that when you generally increase the DK of a, of a, of a RGP lens, the modulus, it gets softer, the modulus actually decreases. We have a product in our, in our RGP material that actually increases the modulus. So we went from a lower DK to a higher DK but our modulus is higher. And so this lens is able to be uh, more rigid, it doesn't flex, and uh, it's a very wonderful lens to be able to vault over these irregular corneas. The soft skirt, of course, huge difference. In the previous lenses, our skirts were made out of HEMA 9.3, 
was the DK, and now with the silicone hydrogel, an 84 DK. So that area, that soft skirt that sits out over the limbus, now has a nice high DK to get oxygen through. But we've added something dramatically different to this lens. In our previous lens, the clear cone, of course, this is the RGP portion. You can't see the junction very well, but there's the junction between the soft skirt and the RGP. This is the RGP material. You can see the lift, that reverse geometry. But in the clear cone lens made of HEMA skirt, this, you can see the thickness of the skirt was pretty uniform all the way out to the edge. So the whole skirt had to be used as a lifting agent to adjust the fit. With uh, our Ultra Health lens, we've made a design change, and it's a dramatic design change in that right, oh, excuse me, uh, immediately past the junction, instead of having the skirt the same thickness, of course it's made out of silicone hydrogel now, but we've also, we put a thickened area that will actually sit on the cornea, and that's the outer landing zone. So rather than using the whole skirt as your landing zone, now we are using just that portion, and that has allowed for a lot better tear flow and tear exchange underneath that lens, dramatically different than the previous clear cone lens. So we have, number one, more tear exchange, of course, great centration, good movement, but we also have immense comfort because really what happens is the outer landing zone, the soft skirt, along with the inner landing zone where the RGP touches, there's a, also a gap that's formed here at, at the junction that fills with tear, tear film, tear for, uh, tears. And so really from this point to this point, that is all the landing zone. So it makes it very, very comfortable. So the, again, those of you that are fitting clear cone, you're going to notice from the patients that they'll say that, uh, oh, Ultra Health is dramatically more comfortable. But you're going to see better tear exchange great oxygen flow, so it is a dynamic improvement in lens, so that's why we're so very excited about Ultra Health. Where to start? Ultra Health is a, uh, a little different. Those of you that have been fitting clear cones, so give yourself a little bit of a time to do a learning curve. You know, if, you're, if you fit uh, three to four patients, you'll feel real comfortable with this vaulting system if you've not done it before. My encouragement is, while we're here, is that it, if when you fit the lenses in the diagnostic set, you use the flat skirt and then find your vault. Once the vault is found, the one that you want, then you look at the skirt and see if you should maybe go to a medium or not. And uh, in the fitting guide explains all that. But it's really key that you start with a flat skirt and do the vault first. The vault is key. We want to make sure we vault over that cornea and have it sitting nicely on the cornea so it's very comfortable for the patient. Give yourself a little bit of time initially. You're going to it would be a little bit slower those first couple patients, but this is a system that any of you can use and do and be very successful with your regular cornea patients. And it's good for many things. Keratoconus, especially advanced cones. We're finding great success with this. Um, ir all irregular corneas, ectasias, much larger, wider-based ectasias than you've ever dealt with. Um, intacts, post-surgical, we're finding uses for uh, ultra health over all of these types of conditions. You know, if you have a corneal RGP patient, of course, that's having some problems, great move to move. And you still have an RGP, but you're moving to something that's much more comfortable and centers fantastically. One of the advantages of a hybrid lens is that we give you the RGP, and so you get all the optics and all the fit and reverse geometry, everything of the RGP, but now you have that soft skirt that centers the lens. It's the skirt that holds it centered and lets the uh, proper lens movement, tear exchange, so it's really a nice combination of, of products. And of course, if you have piggyback patients that are wanting a little extra change or clarity, uh, the lens is fabulous for that as well. And that's all I had for a formal presentation. That's about the time we had, and I'll be open to questions here. How much is your diameter of the Total diameter. total diameter. Oh, total. It's the uh, same as clear corn. It's 14.5 millimeter diameter. And the, and the RGP is 8.4. So the total 14.5 and, and 8.4 for the RGP. Yes? We really like, uh, any multipurpose solution will work, but we really like hydrogen peroxide systems. 
uh, we found that the hydrogen peroxide, since we're a, a dual material product, uh, we have to think about the soft silicone skirt, but we also have to think about the RGP. So we like hydrogen peroxide system that really cleans and really disinfects. But when you're putting the lens on, we do suggest that you can even have the patient use um, a product that will lubricate it just a little bit better, you know, some sort of wetting solution if you want to. But they could put it on with saline. That's fine as well. So, But we really like the hydrogen peroxide. It's a great system. Yeah, what you're going to find, uh, the cleanliness of it is good. If, if you do have a patient, we all have patients that have more uh, build-up problems than others, and especially with that RGP, uh, you can certainly use a daily cleaner as well. And uh, any daily cleaner, the daily cleaner isn't on the lens long enough, so if you want to use uh, any of the daily cleaners, even something that has alcohol in it, it they're going to rinse it off right away. We've not found any negative problems there. Um, I know you're going to use fluorescein to fit these as well, and uh, one of the things I should mention, I should put in the slides, that uh, you can use regular fluorescein. It doesn't have to be high molecule, large molecule. It can be just regular fluorescein. It makes it a lot easier. So. Do you get a reasonable amount of um, T-Rex change underneath the contact lens? Yes. Because obviously with soft, you don't get so much of that. Yep. That you wouldn't really want a build-up of kind of... What's nice about that, what she's asking about is, is the amount of tear exchange that you're getting. And that, again, that's one of the beauties of the design of the lens. Where was I going to go here? Um, because what happens with the, with the RGP, you're getting landing area here. So that RGP lands... But it's not just the RGP. Then you have the soft skirt out here that has that landing zone. And you put the two together, and you get excellent movement. Very good tear exchange. It almost works like a tear pump. Compared to just a rigid lens in and of itself, the two really harmonize the soft skirt and the RGP together to really create that nice tear exchange on every blink. So we're finding tear exchange is fabulous with the lens. And that's what's really providing a lot of the comfort as well, is the great tear exchange, but also the way the lens is designed underneath to really fit nice and aligned with the cornea. It really is a comfortable lens. Yes? Um, for patients with high amounts of just regular astigmatism, even like maybe a 4, 450 cell, Absolutely. have previously used the RGPs. Is it more like more stable for that? Yes. She's asking, what about somebody with a lot of corneal astigmatism, uh, high amounts? Um, I'm not talking today on this presentation with our duet lenses, but uh, they're available as well, but Duet is our um, lens that's not a reverse geometry design that really fits over vast majority of corneal astigmatism. But if you get somebody that's just unbelievably high, a lens like this to vault up and over, perfect. Really works well. So with this, do you find you get less um, apical cone staining than you would yes. with a standard RGP? Oh, because most definitely. Well. With the standard corneal RGP, she's asking about yeah, like apical rose staining. K. Like a rose K, something yeah. So like with a rose K. If you vault these things properly, and you can use that vault, it's reverse geometry, you can get that above, and that would be the goal that I would suggest is to try to make it so that the end product, when they're wearing that lens, when you do a checkup, check the center touch with fluorescein, and if you're getting just a little bit of faint touch, that isn't going to hurt anything as long as it isn't staining the epithelium. You know, the epithelium isn't breaking down. But if you see too much bearing in the center on that apical touch, then you're going to have to go next vault up. That's all there is to it. You just vault a little higher. With our 550 vault, we're finding <laughs> there are just are almost no cones um, that we're not be able to go over uh, the way this thing is vaulted. Now, if you have a globus uh, uh, cone, uh, you know, that, that gets so big that you may not be able to do it with this, so. Yes? Is the duet made of the same material combination? The what? The same duet? Or yes. Standard the same material combination? Yes. The duet lens line is a, these are both our new generation, next generation. The duet line of lenses have the same uh, material composition as the Ultra Health. The same DK of the RG, it's the same materials and the same silicone skirt. You bet. All right, and I'll be here to a answer questions. Uh, we'll officially call it quits here, but I will be here to answer. Yeah. What is reverse geometry you mean? The one? Reverse geometry. I think he, he doesn't know what reverse geometry is. Yeah. yeah. What, what reverse geometry is? Yeah. 
Yeah. Reverse geometry is where you have, if you thought of this as a single vision RGP, let's start, this is, the blue is just the RGP. A regular RGP, this base curve would just come like this and just come down, you know, in a normal curve. Where in reverse geometry, we bring a first curve and then we reverse and move the curve differently to, to lift. And then when it gets up to a certain point by our calculations, we reverse the curve again to flatten it and give you a base curve. So there's, it's like an S shape, and that's reverse geometry. It works fantastic to, to create this vault. Yeah. Thank you. And again, I will be around to answer questions here. So I'll, 